As an example of population growth, we shall consider the growth of bald eagles. If you want to see them, you can just look at search for the images and there are many of them. My favorite one, one of my favorite ones is this one by posted by this gentleman, Steve uh, Baranoff for his James River tour, okay? So these majestic birds, they have a very wide wingspan, okay? And they were endangered species like about, you know, from about 30, 35 years ago. So a good place to watch bald eagles in our area is this Con Island. Our area means uh, here in Montgomery County, Maryland. Uh, if you did this, took the Falls Road that takes you down to Great Falls Park and uh, then do this. Let me, let's try zooming in here. Okay, so there is a good trail to walk around here. So what I did was I went along this path and set my camera up here to get a glimpse of that giant nest. And uh, let me show you what I saw there. So this is the nest that you see on that con island and I don't have a very good camera. Still you could see an eaglet in the nest behind the eagle. Eagles have very stable relationship and they do a great job of parenting. But still their population was diminishing in the 60s because of the usage of pesticides and uh, some other reasons. So when DDT was banned in the early 70s and they were put on the endangered species list, their population began to go up again. Now here are the data for uh, the pair of uh, nesting bald eagles in the lower 48 United States. So you can see in 1963 the number was 487. In 1972 DDT was banned and uh, they were put in the endangered in the list of endangered species and the number continued to grow. Okay so we will make a scatter plot of uh, this data. All right so we want to insert a plot here and then see what kind of model can we fit here and you can see these are the, the numbers are growing you know pretty dramatically and after 2000 most states did not really do an annual count of these numbers so you can see we have an outlier here but uh, let's not go that much into, into the statistics of that and stay with algebra, okay? Now, instead of doing it in terms of years just like this, why don't we do a modification here? That is we, let's insert a column here, okay? And uh, we would do this in this column. We will write our TS uh, since uh, 1960, say. Okay, all right. So we will just a second. So here we have since 1960. And uh, so what we would do is we would subtract the year 1960 from this. Okay, and here we go. So if we look at the plot again okay and uh, now we have these on the horizontal scale we have the year since 1960 and on the vertical scale we have the number of nesting pairs okay and if you want to fit a model you can see linear is not really that good one okay and uh, say we want to add a trend line and we went for a polynomial of say degree two. Well, it's not doing too bad here, right? Okay, so here is a polynomial of degree two, 
All right, and say we want to see an exponential model here, okay? So we will go ahead and remove this and ask for exponential this time, all right? And, uh, and of course, which one to really choose is uh, we have to do a lot more sophisticated statis statistical analysis for that, okay? So, I mean, here we have a population growth model, okay? And if we are using Excel, it goes in terms of like 315.45 times e to the power, uh, 0747x, where x is the number of years after 1960, okay?